everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. And hey, I am working on a um, project that I had half started a while back. I did the cover and now I'm deciding to complete uh, this journal and uh, try some fun things with it and just uh, thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, I have the signature pages already in place. The cover the skeleton of the cover is made, and I'm just jazzing up the cover a little bit. So I've never done this technique before, but it's actually turning out to be pretty, pretty fun, so I thought I'd just show it to you. Um, I have an exposed spine here, meaning that you can see the threads on the outside, and I thought it might be a fun way to um, uh, make it look like a hidden spine. I'm using these three threads as a loom. So what I'm using are the very fancy tools known as tweezers my fingers and some, uh, this is a uh, torn muslin and it just seemed to go with the similar colors in here. It's got greens and it's got the pinks that are almost identical. This is by chance. Um, but you could really use anything. It'd just be a plain white one or, or a cream um, colored muslin. Um, that would work as well. But I'm just weaving it. Now I'm not a very good weaver so bear with me. I'm going to open this up. And this, I'm, I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling as I go. Okay, got that lifted. And I tuck. This is the lift and tuck weaving maneuver. Skipping. I'm going, so under this one, over that one, and then back under this one. And then as I, as I get it more woven, I'm tucking it up north to tighten it up a little bit. Sometimes there's enough slack. You can, you can use a fingernail instead of the tweezers. Just depends how tight things are getting there, but uh, it does work and it's kind of fun and kind of cool. And it's just giving a kind of a, uh, a woven ribbon look to the spine. Um, just something fun to try. And, um, you know, you can do a lot of things with these exposed spines. You, you can completely cover them, let's say with a strip of fabric or a strip of lace, and you'll have what looks like a hidden spine, meaning you won't see the three uh, threads over, uh, okay, under this one, over the middle one, under the, uh, the next one. So I've only got three. So it all, you know, it obviously depends how many, how many um, signatures you have. It might, your numbering might be a little bit different or the number of times you loop back and forth before you dive under. Over the top and under this one. Okay, I seem to be doing this okay with my fingers at this moment. And over, under, over, under, over, under. And then when I get to the end, okay, making progress. Gonna leave like a tiny, a tiny tail. Now you can you can do a couple of things here. You can actually sew it or glue it to the next piece and just keep going. Which maybe we'll do that. Let's try that. I'm gonna use guess what yet again, Fabrifix glue. All right, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. But it's a very good clear silicone glue, and it it just might work in a pinch here. You could also sew them together or tie them together for a a nubbly, bumpy kind of cool look. I'm trying to get my glue out of its little house. Okay. I'm going to try the simple technique of just gluing them together as is. It would probably be better if I waited a minute. We, we know that's not going to happen. I'm going to squeeze it, maybe twist it, and hopefully it'll, it'll stay. I'm not going to put too much tension on it initially as it grabs because I really should be waiting for it to grab, but I'm not. I don't know. Am I the only one that just likes to keep going? It's like watching paint dry because that's a lot of what crafters do. We watch, we watch paint dry. So some of us don't like to watch paint dry. No. No, we like to get in there and keep moving. And that's what we're doing. Yes, Baxter is still here. Um, and he's having a great time. Uh, he and Sonny are ruling the roost. There's a lot of excitement going on in the household. Uh, well, actually, it's in the form of sleeping and eating, but, you know, they, they're very happy, and they look alert and spry, and, like, they're having fun, and it's really nice to see. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I think 
little playmates for each other, which is so much fun. And, uh, okay, there we go. Did I go over the right one? Yeah, so close enough. And uh, pretty darn close, I think, is going to work in this. So you can also go under. Gra so it's got a little tighter now because I'm getting near the end. Grab it. Whoop, nope. Best laid plans here. And grab it and under. Okay. And once you get it going, then it's pretty easy. I, you could probably use a needle of some sort. Let's try that. Let's use the big-eyed needle that I so covet. Um, why? Because it's a big-eyed needle. All right. And, and I'm probably, I probably can thread this. Let's try it. Even a blind wombat should be able to thread this big-eyed needle. Okay. Grabbed it. Whoop. Oh, nope. See, now you have to have dexterity. Nobody said anything about dexterity, but apparently it's a requirement. Okay, there we go. All right, so where am I? Over. Okay. Under, over, under, over. It's probably much easier with the needle. I, I'm sure that's why they invented needles, because it's much easier. Oh, I think I'm... Oh, over. I, I somehow... I'm, I did something here that isn't correct, but we're going to keep going. And somehow we've changed the order of everything. It was... Now it's under the middle one. And then we're going to go, okay, now, now we're under this one, over the middle one, and then under that guy. All right, I think we're back where we were. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why, honestly. I, I'm not a weaver, okay? I am somebody struggling with muslin. Yeah, let's get that there. Under, over, over, under, something like that. But it's working, so we're just going to roll with it. Sometimes you don't tempt the gods. You just keep going. If it's working, there. See, now it was okay that I carried on. That thread is, is A okay. It's not coming apart. So I'm very gingerly sewing here. I'm trying not to pull too hard. I think this might be my last pass. So I think that's probably all I can do. I'll spread out a little bit, take it to the bottom. And I could just leave a little tail. Okay, we get a little scissor. Yep, all right. Okay, yeah, there. And what I might do, I might put a little glue dot there just so it doesn't go anywhere. There, maybe underneath too, just to say we did. That should stop that from going anywhere. Now these guys, I have some loosey gooseys up here. And I think I'm out, I might want, oh, see this guy? Yeah, now he wants to be tucked. I can just feel you want to be tucked. So I'm going to glue you, I can't get this off my fingers now. I'm going to glue you up and then tuck the bejeebers out of you. That's my strategy. Okay, here it's a gluey. Trying not to get the glue anywhere other than where the glue should go, which is in, whoop, where am I going? I have no idea at this point. Um, don't have my glasses on. I want to go under here, under that thread. Now I just got to grab this. Can I grab it? Uh, not, not really. Well, maybe we're just going to glue it really like under the whole thing. Can we do that? Not really. All right. So I do. I feel like I want to. Okay, I'm going to cut it shorter then. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to just glue it to the top. And there we go. Okay, so we have that one handled. That's good. It's blending in with the rest of them. And it looks like a cool little uh, um, ribbon-esque sort of spine thing. I'm going to cut these a little shorter and glue them into place. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, okay. And we want you coming apart. A little dabble do ya. And you, you're so cute, you little pink piece, you. All right, there we go. All right, there. Now we're talking. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Silence. Silencio. Okay, so that's what she looks like. Oh, like that looks like actually very pretty. And I, I feel like I, I don't know, do I want to do more to it? I could. Could come in with little beady things or something. 
I don't know at this point. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stand back in awe for a little bit and enjoy its uniqueness. Maybe I'm gonna glue this tail down so it doesn't flop all over the place. Okay. That also denotes the bottom. Yes. There we have bottom denoted. Yep. Yeah, whoop. Don't be knocking everything over. Okay, so that's I think that's kind of a cool and different sort of stylized spine. Now on the front, I thought I'd make I wanted to put this little birdie on here. I thought he would look really cute. Um I feel like I want to color him in, like maybe something to do with the color scheme. So there is like a, a berry color and a green color. So let me see if I can find something. Okay, I found my Karan Dash Dak of Switzerland. Artist, very super fancy. So many colors, fancy special pencils. So I'm going to grab one of these that looks kind of like that color, which I think is going to be this color. That looks pretty close. Maybe it's this color. Yeah, hard to tell. Oh, 45 different colors here. That's a little intense, maybe. Maybe this one. Well, we'll color it, and if it doesn't look like the right color, I think we can color some dark or over it. Okay, so... You the right color? I don't think you're the right color. Let's go with this color. There we go. That's the color. All right. Um, and we want to put some green in too. Remember that? Okay. So remember. now this bird probably is not truly this color, but I think we're going to bring bring it all together using this color. All right. And people who are true color pencil artists can probably tell the difference between really high quality pencils and just regular color pencils and I am not one of these people no no I can't really tell much of a difference this one maybe feels a little creamier if you know you're going to call it creamy we could call it creamy I'm just going to do some little little enhancements here I want to leave some room for the green too I want to take it take it over completely maybe I'll blend it in he'll be pink and green because he's got to match the the colors. I don't know why. I just felt like he did. All right. So anywhere I'm seeing there's a little white that I can color in with this, we're doing it. Okay. So we got that. Good. Okay. So now over here, um, I think there's two tiers to this. Oh, everybody has to move over one. Every, everybody move over, move over, oh, yeah. move over. Move. There's somebody in here that needs to go over one more. Okay. I think it's you. Okay. All right. So now we need to lift with this. How do we lift this? How do you do this? How do you do this without knocking them all over? Okay. All right. Is there two tiers? Yeah. Oh, it's in a bigger tray. That's what it is. Okay. So now we know. Where's the green? Oh my God. Maybe there's three tiers. I've not obviously not delved this far. No. Yeah. We got this thing in place. That probably means I didn't go anywhere near it. Yeah. Had to have every color known to mankind and didn't go near them for five years. How about that? Okay, so let's find this green. It's a soft green. Kind of a... Oh, maybe you. Oh, I think that's really close. It's probably the closest we're going to get. It's not you, is it? No. I think it's more you. Okay, we'll try you. All right, we'll do a little drawing here. Um... push a little harder than I'm thinking. I don't know. Is that good? Is that bad? Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Let me tell me. I'm just going to color in some random feathers here. I guess you can color right over the, the blacky gray. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's get the paint going in here again. We'll do some contrast. Well, that wasn't... That's not contrast. That's the same color that's there. So that's... Not true contrast, okay. Um, here is where a pair of eyeglasses will really come in handy. Because there's nothing like actually seeing what you're doing to be able to see what you're doing. That, that I can't see with these. Sometimes they're too strong and I can't, like I have them, like they're like microscopes for gosh sakes. Okay. That's how, see how it's all starting to pull together? I know, right? It's kind of cool. Okay, so let's color you in green. A little green going over here. Uh, maybe you'll be green. 
Will you be green? There we go. Uh, should you? Yeah, you'll be green. I think it should be predominantly a green with some little... He looks more pink, doesn't he? I don't know. Let's do a little more pink. A little pink there. A little pink back here. Okay. A little on these edges. Um, maybe a little pink there. Whoop, went over the edge. Oh, well, it happens. Um, okay, now we're back in there with the green. Okay, coloring in this in green. This is a digi kit. It's called Birds and Charcoal, if anybody's wondering. It's in my Etsy shop if you're looking for uh, lots of different birds to color in. You can do it with this uh, digi kit. Um... Well, let's do a little green cap on him. Coloring in lightly. Can always go darker. Let's see how he looks. Oh, I think he's looking quite fine with the green hat. Yeah, he likes that. He's he's quite a, he's a fan. Let's do a little green in here too. Okay, trying to stay in the lines. Not easy. Not easy for this girl. Get the green there. Green there. We get everywhere? How about this thing? Is that all green? Oh, I really like that. I think that looks so cool. Or should I leave his his breast like that? Or should I do it pink? Maybe I should do it pink. Yeah, because sometimes they're more like like a little robin red breast, but this is this is sparrow pink breast. Yeah. So it's gonna be like a softy pink down here. Okay, very nice. Yeah, this is fun. Okay, so you can color coordinate and match your um, cover. Maybe, do I want to do this? Maybe I do. I better not do it on there. We can already see where that's going. Going to be a disaster, I tell you, a disaster. Okay, so let's move all that over and let's color on here. Okay. Okay, probably should use a ruler, but me. Me. Just give it a little bit of an outline here. I like the pink. Pink pops nicely. I do like a good pink. It's making me feel very, very springy when we're in the depths of this winter, fall, whatever we're in. I guess we're in fall. And it's feeling very fall-like in fall. Well, it's not really. It's, it's blistering hot out and humid. But uh, it's kind of fun. Okay. I guess I could do the um, the background, but I, I almost think I want to leave that black and white just for the contrast poppage of it all. You could also do these with um, um, gelatos. The I call them adult crayons, but they work like a lipstick, but you can color with them. And well, they don't work like a lipstick. They they feel like a lipstick. They come, they're in a, like a chapstick. That's what they really look like: chapstick in a in a tube with color. So you could probably use chapstick in a tube with color if you, ha if you don't have gelatos <laughs> or lipstick, something like that. Just pigment. We're just looking for pigment, people. It comes in many different sizes and surprise ways you can find it in regular everyday life. Like coffee dye, avocado dye, Kool-Aid, food color, paints, chalk, um, oil pastels. Chocks, or I think they're called dry pastels or something like that. I don't know. Um, okay, so that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's, it's looking good. Right, let's back up a little bit. Let's see how this is going to look on here. That looks pretty cool. I do like that. Maybe we want to do some kind of background. Oh, no, wait. Let's put that spongy thing down there. Which way, way does this go? Oh, that's going to go here. Oh, no, we're going to put the red away. All right, in. Oh, that didn't go all the way. I think it has to be nested. A certain way like that see yeah, no you can't see what I'm doing okay so I'm putting back these in the way they demand to be put back year number two and then your cush year number three yeah okay that that it does like it better and then we close it we put you over here and we'll bring you out another day all right so I think I would like to give him some sort come back over here I would like to give him some like sort of like torn birdie like background like some shredded sh feeling sort of thing okay like this it's very shredded let's see if we can 
shredding you that way. That's like some good muslin will shred nicely for you in many different directions. And we'll get it all ruffled like on the edges, like the, the bird was making a nest. Okay, that's good. Now maybe we want to color this, but we might have better luck with an ink pad. I'm feeling like it's kind of this color. It's pretty close. Like on a on a rough day, we could we could see that. It might look better if it was I don't know, edged a little bit. Let's try. We're going we're going dark and deep here. We have absolutely no no idea what we're doing at this point. Um, but this is how it goes. Okay, so this is the little edge. And I'm taking, uh, what is this? Worn lipstick, Distress Oxide. And I'm just going to softly color the edges so they're going to look nice against that creamy colored background. Better than the white against the cream. I think it's just a better, a better look for this little pink-breasted sparrow-like creature of some unknown origin. Okay, let's see what we've got now. Nestle. Oh, like that. That's good. Um, let's see. I do like that. It's looking, it is looking good. Um, I do have some other things that are sort of in this grand color scheme. And I'm just going to lie them, lay them. I don't know. I'm going to place them on here. This guy might not be the right color tone. He's maybe too peach. Um, we had others. Oh, this. I thought I might use this as a tie. This is a, a, like a ribbed material, but it happens to go very nicely with that color scheme. So we may, we may try that. Okay, so let's just back away slowly. Since we're going to denote this as the front, as we had taken our paper clip off, because that was our front identifier, maybe we're going to place this down now. All right, so that means we want some... Fabrifix, yet again. I'm just going to put a little along here on the edges. Tack it down. All right, just get some in the center there. And I'm going to take my little finger tool and I'm going to translate, transmit, transfer the glue to the edges. And now we're going to pop it down. Okay, a little angle, because angles are fun. Okay, and you can always go back in there and like do a little more if you have to. You, you can come back in and color it up a little bit more. It can be done a little after the fact, which is kind of fun. Okay, so maybe a little down here. don't know how low we're going. I've got so much glue in my fingers, and I've got every thread known to mankind stuck on here. Okay, so I'm going with a little layery design. That's kind of cute. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, so I need a little bit more, more. I need a little right more here. Who's, who's operating this mouth? Nobody knows anymore. Okay, so I think I'm going to put that there. That looks really cute. Coming back in with the Fabrifix. Okay. Uh, I think I want to put a significant amount of glue here because this fabric cover, and this is paper, it's cardstock, but I want it to adhere well. Not totally goopy, but... Nice. Okay, let's try and put it where we really want it. That looks good. Yeah. That look good? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad for a first shot. Okay. There we go. Looking good, Sally. All right. I like that. Okay, I think I want to get maybe... It's very soft, very comfy in the hand. Still like that. But we're going to do a little blinging. Okay, I'm bringing this one in. It's, I'm recruiting bronze, which looks like greeny gold for some reason. I have no idea why. Let's see if it's playing or it's going to be difficult. Here's a piece of paper. Oh, it's playing. Okay, so let's do this. All right, here we go. Um, just going to... What am I going to do? Um, maybe I'm going to put some dots on these leaves. That's kind of pretty. Maybe just almost berry-like or seed pod-like. And, and, and you could do this in the design or you could also um, make 
like little dots along the edges to define the edges, which is fun. I'm just, I don't for some reason, this, this feels fun at the moment, so I'm going with that. Okay, a couple more there. Okay. Now, do we want any anywhere else? Maybe I think we do. We want to maybe do some down here. One, two, three, four there. There's a few up here. One, two, three, four, five, six up there. Whoop, not exactly a straight line, but you know what happens. Um, three, a couple here. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. It's just adding a little bit of texture and dimension and rivets. The look of rivets, not truly rivets. Faux rivoto. Okay. Oh, I think that's kind of cute. All right. So we have that. Now, do we want to do anything on the spine? Maybe we do. Maybe we want to put some of these going down the spine. Let's see what would happen if we did that. Okay, here we go. Um, what I'm just going to randomly put them. I don't know. Maybe this is silly or it's fun. Right at the moment, it's fun. I'm going to do that just to give it a little more distinction in the spine. And just having a blast playing with the cover of this junk journal. So just doing something a little different with his spine. Um, be free with your spines. Have fun with them. Be free to try different things. Oh, there we go. Fish tail at the bottom. That's okay. Maybe I want to go straight off the top just so we have some uniformity here. There. Okay. And maybe one down there. Some in the middle here. Well, we went a, a little awry, but that's okay. All right, so that is what we have so far. So, thank you for crafting along with me with this little uh, uh, journey into this journal. I don't know exactly where this is going to end up or what it's going to be, but we're just playing today, and that's what we got so far. So we're going to set that aside to dry, right? Like, good little crafters. All right, where's my boo? Nowhere to be found, of course. Um, snuggle pants, you're on. What? You're, you're on break? No, no, there's no break. Because it's always break for you. Yeah, you're always having a little snooze for some reason. You're snoozing on the job? Well, maybe. Okay. All right, so um, here we go. The man of the hour. Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. Um, Cub Pup Reporter Sunshine here, reporting from the paper outpost. I almost lost my job last time. Apparently, Baxter came over and... <clears throat> he had a cameo, which was fine. I was down with that. Um, a little threatened. Okay, it's true. A little concerned for job security. It's true. But um, I think it's going to be okay because it's good to have guests on every once in a while. So we may see, we may see uh, Baxter um, say hello again in the future. Um, you just never know what's going to happen at the paper outpost. That's one thing I've learned. And uh, it's like you never know when it's bath time or when you're going to get a haircut or your face washed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so happy crafting, everybody. Sunshine is back at the command post. All is well. And um, sunshine out. <laughs> okay, thank you. You could say over and out. No. Okay, fine. Don't argue with him. He, 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 you know, some, you have to pick your battles wisely. What, what can I tell you? Okay, so... Did I tell you I have a free monthly email newsletter? I do. I know. I know. Free monthly email newsletter. You get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas at the bottom of every junk journal. No, at the bottom of every newsletter. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. Um, the link is in the description box below. Just click there and, and you can sign up for it there. And Okay, I'll pull this thing out because not everybody has the ability to do that. So let's just zoom in here. Okay. If you want the news, if you want, I think, yeah, this is to the newsletter. Yeah. This is my email address and this is my website, which is also my Etsy address. Okay. So 
If you just want to see my stuff on Etsy, use this address. It's easier. Then you don't get mixed up with everybody else's and or think you're ordering something from me, but it's not really me because it will show me, but then a lot of other people. So that's just the way Etsy works. It's a search engine, kind of the way Google does that. You know, when you search for something, it'll give you what you're looking for, and then it starts to add in things that you're not looking for. Okay. So what else can I tell you? Well, I can tell you that I have an Etsy shop where I sell journals and bundles and kits when available. Um, I also sell the digi kits there. There's over 240 now. Um, they're all themed, five pages each of images related to a theme like birds, Victorian, celestial, dragonflies, butterflies, flowers of all sorts, um, uh, Victorian soaps, hats, people, you name it. Um, ephemera, there's lots of um, fun and interesting themes to explore. I offer a service called the print and mail service if you don't like to print or don't have a printer. Uh, but I will email, no, no, I won't email. I, all you do, if you want me to print them out for you instead, I do them in batches of 10 kits. And uh, so all I need from you is to buy the print and mail option and then give me a list of 10 DigiKit names, either through Etsy message or via my email address and I will send those off to you. Print them out on nice lightweight card stacks so they're a little stiffer than regular paper. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here on the old paper outpost. Look in the favorite tools and supplies section in my Amazon shop and um, uh, it is an affiliate link. Um, uh, that does help my shop but you don't pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much for all your support. Um, I have a t-shirt shop or a merchandise shop. Um, if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zipped hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. Woo, that's big. Um, let me get a little smaller. And um, remember most of all, that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.